Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's lesson is manufacturing account. And in this video, I'll show you how to prepare a statement of financial position, which is also called balance sheet. So let's get started. Okay, uh, so this is the last video of this series. Uh, in my previous two videos, I explained uh, manufacturing account and income statement. Okay, so today will be the balance sheet, the last part. Okay, so what is the first item of the balance sheet? You know, it is non current asset. Yeah, so right here, non current, non current assets okay so what is our non current asset here in this question already we know it is fixture and fittings so right here fixture and fittings so so value is here 23000 dollars okay now we need to write the depreciation here in the middle column so uh, look at the question once again we have already depreciation in the question which is twelve thousand five hundred dollars okay and when we prepared income statement then we calculated more two thousand three hundred dollars depreciation now if we add this to it is fourteen thousand eight hundred dollars so this is the depreciation so we write here accumulated depreciation fourteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay. Now you subtract this value from the cost to calculate the net book value. Okay. So if we subtract, it is eight thousand two hundred dollars. Okay. So this is balance sheet format you have to follow. So so please remember how to calculate this values here. So we have one more non-current asset here yeah what is that factory machinery okay 120,000 dollars so now you have you need to subtract the depreciation which is 30,000 dollars Okay, so when you prepared uh, the manufacturing account for this question, we calculated more depreciation. Okay, so go back there, how much? $22,500. So we have to add this to, then it will be $52,500. So this will be the depreciation for this factory machine. So write $52,500 and you, you subtract. If you subtract, what is your answer? It is $67,500. Okay. So, now we will add all these three columns. Okay. So, here, here if we add, it is $143,000. So, this is the closing line because we have no more calculation with this column here. So if you add these two columns, it is sixty-seven thousand three. If we add this, sorry, this if you add these two values, so we have no more further calculation. So this is the closing line. Now if you add this to the network value, it is seventy-five thousand dollars seven. It is seventy-five thousand seven hundred dollars. Okay, so this value will be added with other amounts. Okay, other items. So this to have no more calculation. Okay, then what to write? Number two, second step is what? Current asset, yeah. So let us write here current assets. So what is the current assets here in this question? First of all, we have inventory. We have inventory here. Uh, there are three types of inventory in this manufacturing account. First one is finished goods, $41,500. Second one is raw materials, $16,500. And third one is 
work in progress uh, 18,100 so this is only only question where you have three types of uh, uh, inventory finished goods raw materials and work in progress then we have one more uh, uh, current asset which is trade receivable yeah so right here so what is the value here sixty three thousand dollars one hundred yeah and from this value we have an adjustment what is written that three thousand one 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 hundred dollar is not re recoverable yeah so you subtract this value it is sixty thousand dollars okay and then from this value we need to subtract the permission for doubtful debt written in the adjustment i showed you in the income statement okay so please watch that video before you watch this one so right here minus provision for doubtful debts which is three thousand dollars okay subtract and write here fifty seven thousand dollars then we have here one more item which is bank so right here bank what is the value nine thousand seven hundred okay why you do this value here because we have an adjustment so a fixture is purchased okay by check but there is no record so purchased by five thousand dollars so now to record we have to subtract this five thousand dollars okay as we purchased by check money goes out from the bank so if we subtract what is what is your answer it is four thousand seven hundred dollars okay so our last item is other receivable yeah so right here other receivable okay actually what is other receivable you know when we prepared uh, income statement we don't advance all prepaid selling expense yeah so prepaid selling expenses are the receivable which is one thousand four hundred dollars okay so this is the last item we have no more so we add this all if we add what we get one hundred thirty nine thousand two hundred dollars okay so if we add this uh, non-current uh, non asset and this current assets what is your answer two hundred fourteen thousand nine hundred dollars so this is our total value of assets now we need to calculate our total liabilities yeah so let us start with uh, current liability okay so right here current liabilities okay so have a look at the question we have here trade payables so right trade payables trade payables is uh, 59000 dollars okay and then we have other payable so what is other payable actually other payable is uh, unpaid wages okay we recorded in the manufacturing account so watch the first video of this series okay so what, what was that two thousand five hundred dollars okay so we have no more current liability so we add and we write in the last column if we add it is sixty one thousand five hundred dollars okay so now non-current liability do we have non-current liability, liability in this question no we don't have so we don't have to write this section so what is the last section financed by okay so right here okay so financed by means here we need to write capital so look at the question what is written capital it is $150,000 yeah so right here $150,000 okay then we have drawings so we need to subtract drawings so right here less or minus 
drawings forty five thousand dollars so forty five thousand dollars if we subtract it is one hundred five thousand dollars okay then what is last item we have to add profit for the year yeah so right here plus profit for the year so we'll get it in the in the second video that means income statement okay so how much we calculated income statement it was uh, 48,400 dollars so if we add what comes it is 153,400 dollars okay now if we add this if we add this with this fellow the answer should be 214,900 dollars yeah okay so let us let us check here yeah, if we add yes 214,900 dollars okay so our total liability is equal to total asset that means our balance sheet is correct our balance sheet is balanced okay so this is how you need to prepare a statement of financial position for the manufacturing account so this is all about our today's lesson this is a bit tricky and uh, and uh, if you practice it will be easier for you just you need to remember the steps i showed you here okay and if you understand this question and uh, this balance sheet to this lesson and previous two videos whatever question will be given in this manufacturing account you will be able to prepare and please subscribe my channel for more new videos and if you think that this video is helpful for you please share with your friends they will be also benefited and i'll see you soon with my new videos and you take care and bye bye